All right, we're back at it again, Dinwiddie and Gunner and I. We've been to this spot a couple times. It's a big area. Let's see what we can get. Brought my mini coil. I'm gonna try to switch it up like I did in the last episode. Boy, that sure worked for me. Hopefully I get the same luck today. Well, there's the first relic -y thing. Looks like a part to a clock. All right, these are pretty common. We got a bunch of these now. Cones Boss. It's just the top of the button, but uh, it's a pretty common one for around here. Man, I think I just found the smallest little clip. They can't get it open. There doesn't seem to be any writing on it. I have not got one like that before. Look at that. I see a spoon. Very cool. Yeah, that's in pretty decent shape. It's definitely not silver. But I will take it. Man, I think I got something cool here. Look at that. Okay, so I was drawing a total blank. <laughs> I can't think of what that was called. It's a cufflink. But check it out. It's got an Indian head in there. How cool is that? Get out of here! You're panting! The Indian, man. How cool is that? That is awesome. I think I ever got a cufflink that cool. For sure. Oh, that's fancy. So that's like the top to a lantern that's or something? That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I got so far. Oh, I think I got a coin. Oh, that's not what I expected at all. It's a wheat scent. I thought it was going to be older than that. Let me get a date. Maybe I'll help date this place a little. Well, it turned out to be a first year, 1909. I do not see the precious VDB on the bottom, unfortunately. Because this thing's in great shape. Boy, it would have been a good one to have the key date. Well, let's see what else we can get. I see an octagon down there. You know what that means. Token time, baby. Oh, yeah. I think Dan Whitty just walked right over this. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> before he hits me, I'm going <laughs> to... Are you sure you're being mean now? <laughs> I'm going to clean this up. I'll get... <laughs> Look at that. Why are you coming this way? There's nothing to see. <laughs> all right i don't think you're gonna see it on camera but i think it says the rounds it says pool hall token and it's local i don't want to say what city and i want you to know where i am boom it needs to be cleaned oh. up a bit look at that dog that bulldog you can see a little better from the inside wow i don't know what the heck that is <laughs> <laughs> well, it's yours. <laughs> all right, just got me a nice suspender. This is awesome all of a sudden. I guess we found the hot spot. What's well, a homestead hunt without finding a harmonica reed? Boom. I thought that was going to be a coin. I mean, quite the high tone. Just some sort of suspender button. Check this out. Oh, I think I got another coin here. No. Totally tricked. What is that? It's something fancy. It's a bird in a horseshoe. Well, that must have used to have been a pin. Well, heck, that's neat. <laughs> that is neat okay so I cleaned up this little horseshoe dove thing a little bit 
you can see, probably, there's some gold gold on this thing. Fancy. Well, seeing some sort of suspender in there. Oh, that's a neat one. That. Some fancy on there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Cool, though. Yeah, maybe these guys had a little bit of money. Some interesting stuff here. Well, that sure sounded good. <laughs> that turned out to be a little drawer pull, looks like. Man, I thought that was going to be a coin. A little bit more suspender. I'd say we definitely found the home site. <laughs> Look at this buckle. That's a whopper. It's a big old brass buckle. Boom. Man, another garter clip. Watch this. This is crazy, but I think I got a button just sun baking right there. Yeah, man. Right on top. It's just going to be a suspender button. Nothing too fancy. But that's cool. Well, it's probably kind of hard for you to see, but all the tumbleweed filled in the cellar hole. But they do like to make them right at the base of these mountains. That's about all that's left of this place. Just a little hole in the ground. So this is just kind of an after work hunt. Um, I think I'm gonna have to call for the night. I'm not sure if I have enough on here to make this a video. I might have to add another hunt. So stay tuned. So Dinwiddie and I, we're back for day two. Man, I didn't step very far at all, and look at that, a ring. It's all smashed up. So it was coming up a 15 on the Equinox, so I don't think it's gonna be silver, but maybe it is. No, let me clean it up. So Dinwiddie beat me here a couple hours ago. He said there's nothing left. Look at that. <laughs> I'm thinking that's sterling. I haven't seen a mark, but now that I have it kind of bend out a little bit, it's uh, ringing up like 18, 19. And it's real thin, so I would suspect that that's why it's giving me such a low reading. But uh, wow, that's old. Old sterling ring, my guess. Awesome. Look at him encroaching next to me now. Look at that. He's right there. So I'm trying a little different part of the field than I normally go in. It's a lot of tin cans over here on the surface, but hey, there's part of a lamp. It is crappy. <laughs> Look what I got right next to him. What is it? I got part of some sort of suspender clip of some kind. Or... Of course you do. <laughs> Maybe you just should have been over a few feet. Maybe I... <laughs> yeah, I'm having a bad day. <laughs> Funny, that's not fun at all. <laughs> Turned out to be a little screen. What are you panting about? About a dollar for every time I dropped a treasure on film. So, cool news. I found the mark. Sterling verified. So that's probably a late 1800s, early 1900s ring right there. And that would have been pretty expensive, I think. Probably somebody's wedding ring. Awesome. Look at that, an old spin sitting right on top. Crazy. Well, Second day wasn't amazing, but worth it. Got the silver ring. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to find a new spot. Off to the next place. See you next time, guys.